How you doing guys? I'm Sean. And I'm Sheena. And we are... Speaking of the animals. We are. Uh, this, this video, it's a Sunday afternoon. Um, you contacted me this morning about... Sheena contacted me this morning about a horrible uh, mm. situation that's happening now. You know, I know. It was, you know... I think when you're vegan for a long time, you always think that you've heard or seen it all. And um, this morning just... Um, it just blew me away. It's um, the story in the Guardian of the two ships. I have made some notes here just to, in case, to make sure I get it all right. But it was published in the Guardian. It was two ships bound for Libya, um, the Elbeck and the Karim Allah. They have both been stranded um, in various ports. The Elbeck is in Cyprus and the Karim Allah is in Sardinia. There is 1,700 cattle on the first ship and 900 on the other and they have been there from the 18th of December. December. Shocking. I only found this out today by the way mm -hmm. and I don't know if that's a sad reflection on the general media or the vegan crew because basically I genuinely never seen it and it's shocking to think that it's happening in the first place but knowing that these beautiful beautiful sentient beings are, <clears throat> are stranded and God knows what conditions. It's unthinkable to imagine what conditions the animal's in, but for a moment, let's just think about it. Um, they will be more than likely in a standing dock. Uh, they won't have room to lie down. They won't have room to turn around. Um, or potentially in, not even in a separate dock from each other, standing in a, a massive crate side by side by side, in their own shit, in their own filth, in their own fear. And goodness only knows what the food and water situation is like for these Horrible. animals. And it just really, really brings to the fore and highlights this issue of live exports. And it seems to simply just be a welfare issue. Mm. And there's many groups now working, hopefully, potentially with these animals and trying to get some solution sorted. But to what end, once these animals are released to whatever port is going to take them in they're going to be sent straight to slaughter yeah and i think that's a big thing to to think about you know the welfareists there's so many and i think hand and heart that they're actually current people you know they're, they're current about the welfare of the animal but we're not welfareists you know what i mean we want this to end first and foremost so but it does make you think how many people would condemn this because of the welfare that the, you know these pure beautiful animals or having to endure, or what if the vet comes on board and says, oh, the conditions are okay, and oh, it's all right. Mm -hmm. Should they be there in the first place? Mm -hmm. And this is like not just like picking on other countries outside the UK. This is like, should we, in 2021, still not connect the dots and say there's other things that we could be eating rather than animals? I know. It's like... It, it, well, the live export industry now rakes in... Uh, 21 billion American dollars. Um, that's 2017's that's um, total. So it's a huge money making, surprise, surprise venture. And it's obviously not going to go away anytime soon. And as Sean mentioned, this is two ships hor in horrendous situations that are being highlighted in the media right now because they're stranded. But there are hundreds of ships passing each other and hundreds of animals that have gone from thousands, thousands. you know, the UK, from Northern Ireland. Uh, in fact, the Northern Ireland, Northern Ireland, I'm not sure the exact figure, but Northern Ireland export quite a lot of animals too, um, to England and beyond. So, you know, it's not just an issue but... that you just see in, in, you know, foreign countries, for example. It is worldwide. And sadly, the, one of the other issues that is being faced for these animals at the moment is that this time spent in the docks is seen as resting time and not transport time which means that it is completely and utterly no legal requirements or laws stating how long these animals can be kept there for so their lives are just i just i was so upset this morning when i read about it because it just made me feel you know how precious an animal is from birth, um, how wondrous and fantastic the actual gift of life is in the first place. And human beings are breeding these animals into this wonderful gift of life only to just the second they're born, take it away from them. Shopping. 
Jean that Claude is Nouveau. just the behaviour of... True detachment from the reality is, is that they're stuck, live stuck. Yeah. You know, as if like, oh, it got stuck in the shop. You know, it, it's cans of soup and cans of beans and things like that. Or underwear, pairs mm-hmm. of socks or shirts and trousers, stock. But we're saying that live stock, live animals, and that's their stock. And that's all it's about, money. Yeah. And we can try to educate people in connecting the dots, but it's supply and demand. And these people do not care about the animals, shape, any shape or form. And, you know, the reason why they're stuck there, apparently, is, is they have blue tongue. Yeah, well, they it, it was claimed that when they left the ports of, they left from Spanish docks, I think two separate docks, on the 18th of December, which is nearly 10 weeks ago, um, they were cleared of blue tongue. Apparently, they had no blue tongue. So, okay. um, so I don't know whether... They're just being overly cautious, or I don't know what they've the... tried to get them into the different ports. The animal charge, we say, they're trying to get the, the the cows into different ports, and they're being getting refused, so they're getting sent back. And what would be the best thing for them? Um, you know, the vet goes in, gives them a clean bill of health, and then they move on to get the throat slit, or do they get euthanized? No, do they get sent back, and then? And how do, I'm sorry to interrupt, but how do they do that on a ship full of cows swimming in their own shit? Um, you know, a vet, are they going to go in? I know that it's very difficult for them to euthanise an animal with a lethal injection because the, the weight of the animal and all this here, it's just such an expensive way to do it. So what do they shoot them? Do they gas them? What is the option for these individuals? Um, it just does not bear thinking about. It's just horrendous. And... I think that when, you know, to, to rather than focusing on the negative, because we could go on for ages about it, um, we have to be doing something. We have to be... Highlighting this. Meat-free Monday, sorry, is not enough. No. Vegetarian is not enough. Um, being eating, vegan is not enough. Yeah. Because if you're just being vegan and you're going, that's okay, I'm okay, I'm a vegan... And you're not doing some sort of direct action or some sort of, you know, sharing content or, you know, doing demonstrations or doing meet the victims or cubes or whatever you want to do. So being vegan is just not enough either. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. You know, we all have to do something. And if you're happen to be watching this and you're not vegan and you find this appalling, ask yourself this question. The only reason why they're there is because somebody just like you is, is purchasing you know, those animal yeah. flesh. And the fact is, is that you may not be getting them from the the containers and the, the ships. You're walking the local abattoir is killing your sentient beings. But the fact is, is that if you have found this appalling and you're still consuming animals and you're not vegan, you really have to look at that, guys, I because, know. you know, we need to stop this fucking bullshit about the welfare of the animals. A meat-free Monday, sadly, or a plant-based diet yeah. every now and again just doesn't cut it because, you know, if you're having a burger once a month, uh, the animal still has to be killed for that yeah. burger. There isn't just a wee slice of the animal taken out for your burger and the animal goes on its merry way. The animal has to die whether you're eating a burger once a month or once every five minutes. So animals are dying and that's the reality and as vegans we need to keep shouting loud and long and forever about it until it stops exactly. and veganism is not a diet you know it, uh, we, we actually see so many vegans actually putting it out there it's almost as if they think it's a diet you know it's, it's it's not about the diet it's not about the environment it's not about your health it's about the animals and that's what veganism is about the animals end off it's not about yeah. anything else it just so happens it benefits all of those other things but I think we have to really up our game here and start to say, look, enough's enough. Yeah. And it's we're only using this as an example because it's so appalling. But you know, it's but there's a hundred other appalling situations yeah. that we could tell and you right one now. One doesn't yeah. cancel out the other. You yeah. know what I mean? It's not like this is worse than something else. Fact is, is that if you're taking an animal's life and it doesn't matter whether you're a farmer there and you have one wee animal with acres and acres of land and you give it the best food going and the best light and best health conditions and you're slitting its throat, it's really no difference between one life being lost than 10,000. We're taking an animal's life to sentient being, and you have to ask yourself, why are you doing that? I know. You know? So, food for thought, uh, literal food for <sighs> thought there. Um, we don't need to eat meat, we don't need to eat eggs, we don't need to eat cheese, we don't need to kill 
any animal for our taste pleasure we mm-hmm. don't and you know if you are thinking about going vegan um please uh send us a wee message we can help with recipes Anything. any of those things that are going to help you on your journey on your lifestyle change you can do um, this yeah if we can do it you can do it yeah simple as that it's it's the you will not regret doing it i'm telling no. you that much you will not regret it if you want to get active um give us a wee shout as well yeah. um we're going to be doing we... lots of acti- activism was activities yeah, <laughs> lots of activism lot now, but yeah we're going to up 2021 again, again this year 2021 yeah definitely. and we'll put links all down below um for what we're doing Mm-hmm. and you know we can do this together yeah uh, the sad thing is is that I, I dread to think what the conditions uh, those pure beings are in I know and I know. Uh, but it's not just them it's the next ship it's the next ship it's the next lorry that's going to the local laboratory it's the next birth that's happening in the farm yeah so somebody can have the milk or the, the chicks and the eggs and things like that you know we need to do this yeah let's okay. do it okay well look thank you very much for getting this far and watching and we'll see you on the next video definitely thanks very much now bye